If you are an IT student and you're doing your PAT or practical assessment task, then these videos are for you to help you with tips and ideas for your PAT. Now this one's not going to get you any marks, but it might get you more time. If you've ever played a game, you would know that there are those cheat codes built into the game that allow you to like skip levels or to be unstoppable in a particular level. And what people don't realize is those cheat codes weren't really developed for the users. They were developed for the developers. Because if I'm creating a game and I'm making changes to level three, I don't really have time to go and play level one and level two every single time I want to test something on level three. I need to find a way to jump levels or to make sure that I get through stages quickly so that I can test them to see that they are working. And so cheat codes are ways that developers use to, to move quickly through a program to get to the point that they want to test. So here's an example of some cheat codes that you can use in your patch that can help you just program that a little bit faster, especially when you're testing to see if it works. So let's try a very basic one. Now, if you have a system where you are logging in, you're going to find every time you test, you're going to have to log on and go through that whole process again and again and again. Anything that you are doing repeatedly to set up the form or to enter in data, you can create a button that does it for you while you are developing the program, which you can remove later on. But it's just there to help you test your program and to run it a little bit quicker. So for example, I always say you must put by default the values in that you want to for your login. So yeah, we have a program where we are logging in. But let's say you've got two types of login. You've got your administrator and your normal user and you want to test each one. And each time you've got to change these and so on. So what you can do is the following. I'm going to add a button to my form. It doesn't have to look pretty. It's just going to be functional. And I'm going to say log in normal. And this is going to be the button that populates these with the normal login users. So if I come here to my table, let's take John Smith and password as my normal general user. So when I click on that button, we're going to put values into these two edit controls. So it's simply going to be edt login username dot text is going to equal to John Smith. And then we're going to set the password for us as well. Dot text is equal to the password is password should be password there we go so there it sets up the values for that general user and then you can add another button which will be for the login of the administrator so i'm just going to say log in admin and we're going to do almost the exact same code but we're going to change this to the administrator user for example jane doe with that as the password let's copy it so there we go i've set that up so now we have a button that logs on as the general user and the button that logs in as an administrator so now whenever we run it if we need to log on as a normal, we can just click on that button and those values are already populated and then it logs in with John Smith. And if we run it again and we select the administrator, we've logged on as the administrator. I know it doesn't seem like a lot, but just that little bit can make a big difference because you're going to find that you are logging in again and again and again into your programs. And then if you have other forms where you've got to populate data again and again, test it, have buttons that pre-populate edit boxes, anything that you have to repeatedly do to set up a form is normally a good idea for a cheat code. And then when I'm done and I'm happy with everything working, I can just come here and delete those two buttons so that they're not there anymore. So these are ways that can dramatically give you more time with your coding. So you're not wasting time typing in every single time whenever you are testing your code. So go create some cheat codes. It'll make the world of difference to when you're trying to solve problems in your program and test it. To get more IT tips, make sure that you go to our YouTube channel, click on that subscribe button so that you can see whenever we post new videos and go check out the IT Pat Tips playlist as well as follow us on Atmos Long Education on TikTok. And remember, don't do it the long way, do it the Mr. Long Way.